All right, people, this is um, fuel injector waveform. Uh, some people, I had a video about the fuel injector waveform. The yellow trace you see right there, that's the control wire for the voltage. Um, there's a power fed, there's two wires for the fuel injector. There's a power feed that goes into it. When there is no ground on the control wire controlled by the PCM, you get 12 volts on both wires. When you run the engine, the control wire that runs to the PCM, this is on the control wire voltage, it drops it to near ground voltage. So this is the time that the fuel injector is actually spraying, where it's opening spraying, and then you get a coll field collapse when it when it goes back to battery voltage when it uh, stops. The uh, and this would right here. This is the pulse width right here, which would be one milliseconds per division. One two, so it's about two and a half milliseconds something like that and this is the amperage waveform right here and I'm using an amp clamp and if you know how to use an amp meter usually you'll have a here's a continuous wire right here you have a continuous wire you separate the wires and then you put your amp in between well with the amp clamp you just leave the wire connected and you can connect to the positive feed or the control wire on the fuel injector you can hook actually you can see it right there it's an amp clamp. I have it hooked around right here. Just it's hooked around the uh, the control wire. The black and the red is the uh, is the feed, and this is the control. And this is an amp clamp. You do not have to disconnect the wiring. You don't have to disconnect to. You don't have to cut this and and connect an amp meter in between. This actually reads voltage into the uh, oscilloscope the amperage conducts um, the amperage induces a um, magnetic field this reads the magnetic field and it turns it into a voltage and then that voltage is sent to the oscilloscope and then the conversion for I have it on I have it set on I had it set on uh, 20 amps when you have it set on 20 amps the conversion is so basically you're, you're taking amperage produces um, a magnetic field this reads that magnetic field and turns it into a voltage and it shows you the voltage here so it's it's like a relative basically you're using this to read amperage but it's turned it into a voltage and you're reading the voltage right here and in this setting right here that I'm in 20 amps right there it is 100 millivolts equals 1 amp so if you know how this thing works the red trace, you can see the red trace. You're going to see here we're on the 100 millivolts per division. 100 millivolts per division is each line you see here. From here to here is 100 millivolts. From here to here. So we're hitting 100 millivolts. So if it's a 100 millivolts per division, then between here and here, which is 100 millivolts, is 1 amp. So this fuel injector is pulling 1 amps. And that would be good because it, you would have to know you'd have to do your research knowing that the fuel injector itself pulls about 900 milliamps 900 milliamps is 0.9 amps so you're looking at good amperage that means this fuel injector is flowing fine you know notice that it's a nice nice uh, it goes up nicely like this it's not it doesn't shoot straight up the amperage if the amperage shoots straight up like this that just climbs real fast instead of going like this and a nice steady incline that shows you that the fuel injector is uh, shorted um, there's a couple other things that we could read from this uh, we could change the voltage for the uh, for this right here 
and we can see a little bit more detail we'll move it down to here so right here you see where it says two that would be zero volts so we're near zero right there so this is 12 volts so actually here make it a little bit easier so right here we're at 5 volts per division so we got 5, 10, almost 15 volts because the, the battery's charging, the alternator's charging we're almost at 15 volts so right here is battery voltage this is when the uh, computer is not controlling it to open not giving it the ground so like I said on both wires, both the feed and the control wire, you're going to have battery voltage. This is the control wire, so when it's not activated, not being grounded by the computer, you're going to have the 12 volts. Or in this case, it's close to 12 volts. It's more than 12 volts because the alternator is charging it. As soon as it hits right here, it drops down close to ground. That tells us that the, that the control wire is being controlled by the computer. It also tells us that the, there's a good ground going to the computer. It also shows us that exact time that it's grounded by the computer, we start to see current flow right here. And then right here, this shows us the, the voltage spike. There's a voltage spike as soon as the, um, the computer stops giving it ground immediately. And you see it's clipped off right there. That's, that's caused by uh, the computer has like a, a Zener diode or whatever in there. And it controls it from being being spiking too high right there so you notice it's not really spike it's it's, it's kind of level it's not a nice like a uh, straight up spike that's just because uh it, it's being cut off it's being clipped off so that you have don't have a really huge spike that can damage um the fuel injector and components and everything the other thing you're, you're going to notice right here is this right here on a bad fuel injector that is not opening it will not be opening but you may see this control because it'll be stuck open or stuck closed or whatever have you this right here is a voltage signal but it indicates a mechanical it it indicates a mechanical pintle opening because you're activating the pintles opening spraying this whole time right here and then it stops the ground so the pintle closes boom and it takes between here from the, the, the time that it, the computer tells it to turn off to right here for the mechanical, that, that's a mechanical input. When it slams, when it slams shut, it produces this small hump right here. And this hump is caused by that pintle being closed. If the pintle is not opening and, proper, opening and closing properly, you're not going to see that pintle hump. Therefore, it gives you an indication that it may be being controlled but it's not actually opening or closing so those are some of the things to look for but uh anyways like i said this is this is uh this is the control wire this is voltage right here you have voltage right here so 5 10 almost 15 volts about 14 5 and then the computer tells it to turn on gives it a ground and for this amount of time is when the fuel injector is open. It's spraying fuel at this time. And then the, the computer uh, stops giving it ground at this point. And then you have the voltage spike. And then you have the pintle hump right here that shows you the mechanical, mechanical closing of the actual pintle itself. So, um, some people were, I guess, interested in that. But, I mean, it's not real complicated, really. It's just, uh, this is amperage, shows the flow of current. And this is the uh, control wire, there's two wires. There's a power feed, then there's a control, and it's a ground side switch. So it's, uh, it's controlled by the ground, and, and this amount of time right here is when the fuel injector is open. And you can see right there, it's a one millisecond. That's one millisecond per division. So if we move this over, let's move this over a little bit we have one, two, two and a half milliseconds. That fuel injector is being opened for two and a half milliseconds. And that's at idle. And as soon as you rev it, it's gonna, it's gonna close. It's gonna be uh, open, I believe, a shorter amount of time. Actually, actually it might be long. 
yeah, shorter amount of time. So at, at the idle, it's open for two, two and a half milliseconds, 2.4 looks like milliseconds. And when you rev it, the milliseconds are, it's only going to be open a shorter amount of time because you, your RPM is going to be going faster. So this is important now. The way the line that the amperage goes up, you want to see it go like that. If it goes straight up, that's an indication of a shorted fuel injector. This right here is an indication of actually working properly mechanically opening fuel injector. This is an indication of good battery voltage supplied to the fuel injector. This is an indication when it drops all the way down to almost ground of a good ground being supplied from the fuel injector. This right here shows that there, it, it's, everything looks like it's working properly. So, I hope you guys understand that. Uh, I guess I could try to make it more simple than this, but anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.